All right, what's up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the beautiful Lamborghini inspired Panigale we're gonna be building and customizing for our next giveaway build series. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so as you uh, know, everyone has seen this bike. It's been all over the internet going viral on TikTok and Instagram. Um, this is our carbon M1000RR that we just finished. Um, this is gonna be given away uh, in early to, or in to mid to late March. Um, but this is what we do with motorcycles. We take a bike and we customize them and make them completely unique and beautiful. And then we give them away when we're done. If you guys wanna be entered to win our next bike project, which is gonna be a Lamborghini inspired Ducati Panigale, patreon.com slash Customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the whole plans for the build. Uh, the first thing I wanna do though is I wanna get this bike on the scales and get a weight for this bike. So if you remember uh, for our BMW M1000RR, it was the lightest stock bike that we ever weighed. It was 430 pounds in stock form. After we were done with it, all the carbon fiber and everything, it weighed in at 390 pounds exactly, which is the lightest motorcycle that we've ever done. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be doing full carbon on this one, uh, because we're gonna be doing a custom paint scheme anyway. You guys already saw on the uh, thumbnail one of the options for uh, the custom paint scheme. But if Manny has all the carbon for it, then we might we might as well use it and just paint over the carbon and ha leave some exposed carbons and parts and stuff like that. But Point is, I'm not going for the lightest bike ever. Um, obviously, we're gonna try and strip as much weight as we can, but um, this one is really gonna just be like a design exercise. I wanna build something that's really special and really unique because you guys really loved all of the graphics on this bike, and we did too. I thought it was the coolest build that we've done so far. So the, the game plan will be to top this build. So we're gonna try and make a bike that looks better and is cooler and more rare and more unique than this one. And it's gonna be a very tall task. So the first thing we need to do is throw this bad boy on our scales we use these intercom wireless scales um, so we got to set all of this up there's actually some stock parts that come with the bike that we didn't have installed since we were there for the unboxing of the bike we're still going to put those on the scales to make it fair because it should have all the stock parts uh, to get a full wet stock weight of the motorcycle so i'm going to give christina a hand uh, we're probably going to have to do this off camera because we don't have dado here today to help us and then uh We'll find out how much it weighs. Teens, you wanna take a guess on the weight of this thing? What does it say online? I don't even know. Yeah. I didn't look it up. You didn't look it up? They give dry weights online, they so. Dry weights. And you don't know that Yeah. Wow, I usually know these things. Hey, do you want me to guess first so you're in a ballpark? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna say 440 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, do I go over or do I go under? 440? Uh, okay, I'll say 448. I think that's a good guess. Make your guesses, make your guesses, put them in the comment section below and let's see who's the closest. All right, well we got it up on the scales, it's a little sketchy. We put the front on first, then we put it on the side stand and then I had to lift up the back wheel while Christina slid that under. So my guess was 440, hers was 448. And Chris, oh, and then we also set the passenger pegs just on there, they were two pounds, we weighed them separately and this is completely blurry, there we go. Guess I can't move around at all in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It actually, yeah. Two pounds exactly? Yeah. It's incredible that they're that accurate. Okay, what's our stock number? 443. Four, so close to 444. Four. 443 pounds. That will be our stock weight for How this much motorcycle. Gas do you remember four? Yeah, it's three quarters of a tank right now, okay. so it's not completely full. So it'll probably be about 450, maybe something like that, but who cares? Uh, this is just to give us an idea. It's not an exact science. We just want to know roughly how much weight we saved. Okay, sweet. So from here, uh, we're going to go inside and talk about build plans and look at pictures, and this is all the fun part. So let's go take a look. All right, we're back inside. Before I show you the designs, well, I guess you've already seen one of the designs on the thumbnail. We need to grab a celebratory drink because I honestly just, I think that this is going to be, I think it's going to be the best build that we've done. What do you think, Tina Wieners? Oh yeah. I'm doing a Sam Adams white ale. What are you having? <laughs> I'm asking what Rambo wants. What do you want, Rambo? Rambi. Rambo, say see him. hi. Say hey, hi, boy. Boy. Look at him. Looking healthy. What are you Healthy having? food and everything. Hey. Get, grab a Corona. Is that, what am I having? All right, I'll chug a Corona. All right, that'll work. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Um, can you do the honors? I'm trying to hold this camera. I don't, know what, I'm, I don't know what I'm filming. Bartender yeah. teens coming at ya. There she is. So we do, oh. that was pretty good. We do have plans, guys, to do our garage. Oh my God, she just spilled it. I did not. Oh my God. 
We do have plans to do I our do. garage up, our <laughs> detached garage, and turn that into a space for build series. We can still use Dado's, because um, his is probably gonna be needed for the more it, like exhaust and in, like intensive stuff, but I wanna have our garage like beautifully. We wanna epoxy the floors, actually both garages. I wanna get some tools in there, a lift, uh, TV, you know, and like just have a space where we can film cool stuff here instead of our horrible garage floors that got ruined from the previous owner. Uh, right now, so I'm excited for that. And I just got off the phone with Manny and we're heading down to Miami. We're taking both bikes, the BMW and the uh, Panigale, and we're gonna be making some incredible content for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. He gets to see the baby. The yeah, concert. he's gonna see the, the build. He's gonna get the ride and do a walk around and do all his stuff. There's a lot, there's a lot going on yeah. in the short time that we're there. And it costs us a lot of money to put this trip together for shipping the bikes and staying down there and renting cars and everything else. So um, make sure you guys give the video a like if you support us, subscribe. It's gonna Completely free, and let's go take a look. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do a cheers. Yeah, I did cheers. She's still cleaning. <laughs> so Cut. It was <laughs> All right, we're finally cleaned up. Rambo's sitting at the bar seat, Rambo. wishing that he was drinking. Cheers, everyone. You got. We got Christina subbing in for Dotto since he's busy. He can't cheers with us, but he'll be he'll be back soon. So don't worry. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. To a new build. Now it's time for the big reveal. So I worked with Car Designs, the same uh, guy who helped me design the uh, carbon BMW that everybody loves. Um, and basically my idea was, why don't I build a Lamborghini version of, of, a, of a Panigale that, that, I, would, that I would do. Um, you know that I bought the Lamborghini Street Fighter, and I'll show you that in a second. Those are not the colors I would have chosen. Um, they did it based on the, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you this. But he, So here's what I came up with. So. Um, this is based on the Huracan STO launch edition colors. There was two launch edition colors. There were these colors, and then there were the one that they used, the green and red, for the Street Fighter. I believe Claudio made that call from what I gathered at um, World Ducati Week, and um, it's not a call that I would have made. But, nevertheless, he's the CEO of Ducati and I am not. So, these are what I came up with. I, I gave Car Designs kind of my ideas and the colors that I was interested in and these are all the different designs that he came up with on the first round. And then from there, Christina and I sat down and we kind of narrowed down to our favorites and why and then went from there. So there was a couple different like routes we could go with. Um, I really liked like this black gills here but we weren't crazy about all the orange down at the bottom because it kind of makes the bike look bigger. So when the bottom has black like this, mm, we really liked that, like that, how that looked. And then um, F and G were some of our favorites as well. And mainly it was just little things like no black on the top of the tank here. The winglets, that's yeah, half the black, winglets half are half, orange, which is really cool. Orange. So there's all kinds of different elements on here that you don't really notice. These down here, I didn't really want white in the design, so we kind of went away from this direction. This is cool, but I don't need Ducati on there a million times, so we went away from that. So I'll show you guys our favorite three designs from these, and then I also had them have them change a couple of little things. So this is one of our favorites. Um, this is the one that has the blacked in winglet area. It has the black across the bottom. It has the dual toned uh, winglets there. It has the black on the front there, and then some more orange accents. So beautiful. And then also we were using the um, Acra new Undertale full titanium exhaust. Um, and these are also the wheels from the Lamborghini Street Fighter. We're gonna try and get these. I'm talking to Ducati about getting them. If we can't, we might just do carbon wheels, um, but they're gonna be a backup option if we can get them, because I think that'd be really cool. Are you doing a dry clutch? Um, the dry clutch is also just, we're not sure if we wanna do dry clutch or not. I'm gonna be getting feedback from all of you guys and the patrons the and patrons. stuff, and Manny. Um, so, you know, give us feedback on what exhaust you would like to see, and then we'll go from there. Here's my personal favorite design. So, so you um, can see from this, is, this one. There's, there's letters up here in the upper left. One. So if you guys want to get feedback, so so D D is was the first that one. one that had the black gill area, dual tone winglets, and then G is the Ooh. one that I think that this kind of looks like a factory like scheme, like something Ducati would do. That's a and it also you can see the black up on top I of like the tank. I like this being part of the fairing. Yeah, me one too. Color. I think that looks incredible. I love the Ducati down here like this. Minimal orange. Minimal orange, but there's some splash of orange. So the colors of these, this is blue La Fe and um, Arancio California, I believe is the orange from Lamborghini. Um, we're gonna try to get the paint codes, but if not, we'll just try to match them as much as we can. And then I had them add the Lamborghini Panigale right there. And then here's one more design. Right at the top. Yeah. 
Um, this one is H. H, so you can see here. G H. Yeah, we incorporated a little bit more black on the top of the tail, the tank, the front end. More orange. More orange here. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to paint the calipers, but it's an option, we'll see. I think winglet has orange. Yeah, the winglet has some orange accents around the ends. Trim. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So we'll my go personal back favorite from is H that to one. G that's my favorite. To D. I think that's my favorite. That one's my favorite. Yeah, it's I so love the cool. black on the bottom and the top. It kind of frames everything, it makes mm -hmm. the bike look smaller. And the colors are just, look at that. I mean, that looks absolutely incredible. So um, let us know what you think about the paint scheme and the design. And then there's a couple of ways we can go with this. We can go, we can get full carbon. Manny said he has all the carbon for this. And then we can paint over that carbon. And then all the black parts could be exposed carbon. That'd probably be my number one choice. The only issue with that is um, you have to test fit all the carbon. Make Put sure everything it all works, on. make adjustments if adjustments need to be made, then and then it pull off. it all off and then send it out for paint, which can be weeks. And this is why I've been wanting to change my build series from uh, per episode on Patreon to monthly, because if it's monthly, then it's fine if I'm waiting two weeks or three weeks. I can be doing something else or maybe we add another bike in or whatever. Whereas it's per episode, I pretty much try to film two per week. And if a bike's gone or parts are gone and I can't do anything for weeks at a time, that drastically hurts me trying to make my money back for these builds. So that's something we'll talk about in the future. That's why I really haven't painted things, especially why I haven't done full carbon and then painted them. So I wanted to show you guys where my inspiration came from for this build. I love baby blue. It's like one of my favorite colors and I love it with orange. I was debating between yellow and orange, but I think orange looks better. Hey, aren't these, those the Street Fighter? These are the, yeah. Colors? So these are the two launch editions for the STO. The Street Fighter is based on the STO and that's the launch edition colors they chose. So that's the bike you're getting so in they, those colors. Yes. Exactly, that's why they chose that bike's colors. I think it looks great on the car. Oh, but look at that. Yeah, I mean, I would have never chosen those colors personally, and I would. I asked them for me to be able to choose colors for my Street Fighter, and they said no. They did 63 special ones for special Lamborghini customers, people who had like 10 plus have Lamborghinis. bought a lot of cars yeah, and bikes. And they were allowed to choose custom paints for their cars, for their bikes, but I wasn't. So it is what it is. So this is kind of my way of showing like, hey Ducati, this is what I would have chosen. This is what you know, I could have done, but it is what it is. So this is where my, this is where we actually saw, we actually got to see this in California at the um, Lamborghini of Westlake dealership. Uh, remember when we went there, teams, mm -hmm. and they had this exact one? Mm -hmm. I, so I got to see this in person. I just fell in love with it. It looks so incredible. Um, look at that. So that's, that's where the, basically where the um, inspiration came uh, for this idea was the idea to take, um, Basically, I'm gonna have the Lamborghini Diavel, which is sitting right over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have my Lamborghini Diavel, I'll have my Lamborghini Street Fighter. Which it went from like a dark green to a super bright yeah, well, green. I would, now I'm gonna have two green bikes. <laughs> Green's probably my least favorite color, you know? But whatever, it does look really, really good. And it actually looks way better in person too. So I'll have the Street Fighter, I'll have the Diavel, and now we'll be building a, a V4 on top of that. So this is the bike, and I wanted to show you guys exhaust options. So. Um, this is the new full titanium exhaust system. You are seeing that price correctly. It is $8,200 plus taxes, plus it's a 10 to 12 installation Labor. hour, and you're getting 100 to 150 an hour on that, on top of that. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at nine to $10,000 to get this exhaust installed on this motorcycle. So here's the old exhaust. First, let's take a look at, well, you saw what it looked like in the uh, pictures, but also on top of that, when you add the exhaust, you have to, change the um, lower fairings so that it fits it correctly. So I think so those are the ones the that I want. to buy the lower fairings? I think that those are the ones I want. There's two different ways you can do it. And this is something I'm gonna have to talk to Manny about. See this so part here? that's what it look like. Yeah, so this is the new Undertale exhaust. I do We've think it looks really an cool. We've never installed Undertale, We've never done we? this before, yeah. it's brand new. I think it looks really cool. Um, it does weigh a little bit more because you can see there's a lot more piping, whereas the other one stops it down here. So there's actually, I found out why they did this. I don't even know what I'm allowed to tell you guys and what I'm not, but I'm just telling you anyway. So um, when it comes to racing on the track, this exhaust here that exited at the bottom um, was too loud. It was reverberating off the, the ground, see that? And it was um, in a lot of European tracks and stuff like that. I think it was breaking sound I think regulations. You should do the, the other one. Yeah, the just, just, just for because something it's different. different. We've if never it was done my it, personal bike, I like this one. one. And yeah. that's probably what I'll put on my Street Fighter. Um, but because we've never done it, I think that um, probably putting it. And it's two grand and more. And it's so oh much God. more money. <laughs> so it weighs more, it's not as loud, 
And in my opinion, it doesn't look as good. And then good. once you get rid of the tail tidy, it'll look better. It, it'll out look there. really good yeah. without the tail tidy. Yeah. So that's the that's one exhaust. Those are a couple exhaust options. Um, I had this up here on Manny's site because there's other exhausts. So you guys can tell me which exhaust you'd like to see um, on there. I think actually this one's really nice and super freaking loud. Um, but it's not a full tie system. So I mean. I say go big. Yeah. If I, possible, go for it. I don't think that one. one really looks that great either, to be honest. And it's something completely new, which something is what they ask so for that's all the, the whole time. Point of this build. First time we're ever doing a custom paint scheme for a full custom paint scheme. We've done some small ones in the past. First ever Lamborghini inspired design. First ex time we're using this brand new exhaust system. We're trying to use totally different wheels. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to Manny about using all kinds of different parts you guys have never seen. So um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is, let's see, where is it? Well, you guys kind of saw these wheels. I'm trying to talk to Ducati about getting a set of these wheels for the design. Um, and I think that would be really cool to get those. If I can't, we'll do the carbon wheels. So um, cool. But these are basically based on the STO wheels. So if you see the wheels on the STO, yeah. yeah. So they basically, for the Street Fighter, they took elements Star pattern. of the car and they were able to actually design elements of the bike to match it. Like the uh, front fender, the rear tail section, the wheels, all that kind of stuff. So um, obviously, I, we don't have any way of doing that. Even this looks like. Does yours a, a come with the dry thing. clutch already? Yeah, the Street Fighter does okay. come with the dry clutch. So I think that's it. So you know, give us feedback on what you guys thought of the designs. There's what's, a lot. What's your favorite paint scheme? What's your favorite exhaust? Dry clutch versus wet clutch? What kind of wheels do you want? And then what other accessories would you like to see as well? So I think. That's about it. Um, it's a lot to think about. There's a lot that goes into these projects that people don't realize. I'm gonna be sitting down with Manny. We're gonna be going through, creating a whole list, picking out all the parts. Um, I gotta start talking with the painter. I gotta figure out logistics with Dotto. There's a lot of stuff. So there's a lot more that goes into these projects than simply bolting parts on a bike. Like, especially when it comes to doing custom work and stuff like that, it's, it's a lot. So that's it. Give me, your, give me your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section below. Obviously, we're always gonna prioritize the patrons since they're paying to make these projects happen. If you guys wanna be a part of this build, patreon.com slash Customs is always the first link in the description below. Go show Manny from Moto Million some love. All their descriptions, uh, all their, their main link is in the description below and you can use my code KMP to save yourself some money. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give the, thing, the big old 2C thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Hi.